And welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It is the week of August 24th. The month is going by fast. I hope you're doing your job. I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're doing what you're supposed to do. By the way, during the retreat, we've had tremendous response to the people when I requested from all of our attendees, what were the 10 things that were most important that you learned during the retreat? Send me a copy. And we publish those and give them back to all the attendees. If you're at the retreat, every Monday, every Thursday, I send you a little follow-up with these top 10 thoughts from different attendees. I hope you're reading them. They're really good. I mean, they're really strong. But one of the things that has come up, I would say on 80% of them, and it's only one item, is they all identified with the fact that they have to control their time better. They have to control their time better. And I keep thinking about this because as we look at these personality styles, the driver, talked about him last week, is going to be much more in control of their time. The expressive is going to be out of control of their time. So we have to look at why this time management issue is such a big issue for real estate people. And I, and I think it boils down to several things. It boils down to first, we're independent contractors. Okay, The truth is nobody can tell us what to do. And we seem to love the glory of not being able to be told what to do. And it's just like, you know, I tell people all the time, all right, now watch. You're an independent contractor, which means you're independent of income, listings, and sales if you don't do what you're told. Now, how bright a thought process is that? See, this time management problem stems from the fact that most of us do not have a strong business background. We don't have a strong sales background. So therefore, when we're thrown into a situation where all of a sudden, time blocking, time management, doing things at a certain time become difficult, you can see how difficult our life becomes. The analytical and the driver love good time management. The expresses and the ambible don't like them hardly at all. So last week we talked to you about the driver. Let's go back and review quickly. Low on emotion, we talked about that. They make their decisions very quickly, which they do. They're very controlled oriented and will take control. They love the action. They're forceful, they get things done. They're considered to be very, very dominant in their personality. Bottom line oriented, which they are. They seemed rush and impatient. That's Mike Ferry, watch him in action. And they appear to be aloof and arrogant. So watch this, when dealing with the driver, remember, they wanna to get to the point as quickly as possible. They don't wanna chit chat or get into lengthy conversations. Give them the information they're asking for so they can make a decision quickly and let them maintain control. Although you have to be asking the questions to keep your presentation on track, which of course you have to do. So think about that fact that we discussed the expressive, we've discussed the driver, and now let's look at what we would call the amiable personality. It's an interesting group of people. And I have to tell you, from, from my perspective, I personally believe, although everybody wants to be a driver, a good portion, and I mean a major portion, of some of the best real estate people I've ever met in my entire life are amiable. Why? Because see, their natural tendency is their concern for others. Their natural tendency is their trying to be understanding of others. Their natural tendency is to be empathetic to others. You know, that makes for a pretty good relationship. Now, as a driver, that's a shortcoming in all three areas for me. The expressive is too busy chatting to understand what other people are trying to do. But the amiable is really a great salesperson. And, I, and again, I'll say to you, I don't know what percentage, but it's a big percentage of the best people I've ever met in real estate were highly amiable personality styles. So let's look at their characteristics. First, highly emotional in their responses. Okay, my daughter Reagan and our da daughter Tanya are both highly amiable. And it's so cute to work, work with these two wonderful people. They're 30 and 31 years old. You know, a puppy runs across the street and a car screeches and they both cry, okay? A cute puppy walks by, they pick it up, they both cry. It's just, they're highly emotional in their responses. Um, it, it's so much fun to be around them because they are so concerned all the time. 
They're slow in the decision-making process, okay? I, I've kidded for years about the fact that my son Patrick, who's very analytical, and our daughter Tanya decide to go to dinner one night. So they leave the house at 6.30. I called them at 7.30, I needed to talk to Pat. Where are you having dinner? We haven't decided yet. They had gone to two restaurants, looked at the menus, didn't make sense. I called them back at 8.30, they hadn't decided yet. They'd gone to five or six restaurants, couldn't decide what they liked. I told them, I said, what a great weight loss program, <laughs> okay? Slow in decision making, you never make a decision. They're very friendly and warm. I mean, how can you not want to hug an amiable, okay? They're very agreeable. They're going to agree with most of what you ask of them. They're very, very strong support people, and they're great team players. Soft-hearted, empathetic for others, which is what they are, okay? They, they love to work on the common goal, the common theme, okay? How do I make my house so everybody would like it and love it? They're soft-spoken and easygoing in manner. All right, so you're an amiable, and you're going into a house to talk to a driver. Boy, you can't be intimidated. You gotta go back to the script. You gotta ask the questions. Remember, the driver wants to maintain control, but you have to ask the questions so he or she can make a fast decision, which is what they like to do. So the amiable, more than anything else with the driver, has to follow the script but you're amiable and you walk into the house and the driver says, all right, so what, what are we gonna do for price? And oh, 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 oh gosh, uh, um, you can't do that. You have to say, let's take a look at the CMA and let's decide the best price for you, fair enough? So as you can see now with the express of the driver and all the amiable, if you're not willing to practice, if you're not willing to role play, if you're not willing to identify everybody in your database as to who they are, if you're not willing to identify your prospects, your leads, your customers, your sellers, and your buyers, if you're not willing to go through the process, you're only gonna sell 25% of what you could sell. If you're doing 10 deals a year, you're missing 30. If you're doing 50, you're missing 150 because it's the ability to adapt. So watch, the amiable has to be very careful with the driver, okay? I walk into the house and it's a highly analytical person that I'm dealing with as an amiable. And of course, what do they want? They want the cold, hard facts, figures, and details. But the amiable wants to be concerned. Watch, I know that you want the details. May I give them to you? I know you want the exact facts. May I give them to you at this time? The amiable more than anybody else next to the expressive has to follow the scripts more often, more role play, more practice all the time. Amiable is going in with the expressive. Boy, this is intimidating because you walk in the house and it's like a whirlwind is taking place in front of you. Well, again, you have to take control and you have to get out of your own skin and be a little uncomfortable and say, I can see how excited you are. Okay, let's do this. Let me go through the important information I've written down to deliver to you, and then when we're done, would you give me your comments? So you have to take a little different approach to this one because if you don't, guess what? The expressive will just talk right through, and instead of being there for five to 10 minutes, you'll be there for two hours. And we see this happen all the time. The fastest way to get out of the house with a contract signed, understand who they are, pay attention to who they are, pre-qualify the way you're supposed to, and follow the scripts the way you should. If you listen and you watch, you can identify 90% of the people at all of our seminars that I do. People are always amazed that I can look at somebody in the audience and identify their personality. They go, how did you do that? Well, I'm watching, I'm listening, I'm asking questions, okay? It's kind of fun when I'll say to an audience, how many believe you should do this, raise your hands? And you can watch the analyticals in the audience processing it. Driver, hand up, expressive. Two hands and one leg, okay? Amiable, gosh, I don't wanna raise my hand too fast and hit the person next to me. So we've gotta pay attention very carefully to each of these styles. Now, remember, this particular person is a great salesperson. If you're one of them, be proud of who you are. Amiables make great salespeople as long as they can adapt to the people they're working with. All right, next week, we're going to look at the fun one for me, the analytical. See you next week.